guys, Zach Lag here, and thank you for wa keeping watching my videos. And my last program that I made was about a coronavirus visualization. And I'm continuing to explain how all these functions that we built there work. And if you guys didn't see my video on how conf.lua files work and how loops work in Love2D, then please check out that video. So today I'm going to explain more about tables and objects and how to insert things into them and how to access. Okay, let's dive in. As you can see here, we use a loop, but it doesn't look exactly like this loop, right? This is because this is the loop that we use to iterate through the table with values. First, let's figure out what is a table in Lua. If you know what a variable is, I bet you know. But just in case you want to refresh it in your memory, watch this video on my channel. So similarly, similarly to the variables, a table is basically a list of values. Do you remember the make a list command in Scratch? Yes, it does the same thing in Love2D. It allows you to create a list of values. To create an empty table in Lua, you just need a table name and assign it to curly braces. That's it, your table is created. And this is what we've done in our program also. There are many different commands to manipulate tables. Add values, remove values, and so on. You can check all of them in official documentation. Here's the link. And the good thing is all these commands are very similar to what we've done in Scratch. And it's super easy to use them. As you can see in my program, here we're adding values to the table that we called circles. So circles is our table name and we're adding circle, a circle one by one to this list of values. But what is our circle? A circle is another table, a circle is another table, but it is called an object since every value in this table has its own name. And it can be accessed by its name instead of just position in this list. It's more convenient, right? Look. First, we created an empty table, circle. Then we added a value to this table, but we gave the value its identifier or meaningful address, like a home address. We're simply adding some values to our table, and each value has its own unique address name. And this is the table we got eventually for every circle. Now with the command, table.insert, circles, circle. We're adding the circle to another table, circles. So eventually, our circles table will have many circle objects. And here, we are iterating through it with our loop. Here we have special words, I pairs, and we're to apply this. What does I and C letters mean? I is the number of our loop iteration, like 1, 2, 3. And the C assigned every time with every new iter is assigned every time with every new iteration to our objects. So when we iterate the first time, our C will be in the circle object. Next time, it will be this one and so on and on while we have any values in our list. Now, when all the details are explained, let's finalize our game by adding collision detection and how the virus spreads. First, we just need to add one more circle that will be infected and make it filled. Let's just copy these lines and paste it here. And let's make small changes to our circle mode. Make it filled. Now let's add the collision detection part. To do so, we compare circle positions and here our scratch knowledges help us again because I'm going to use math absolute function which works exactly the same for scratch as in love to d and Lua.
today, guys. I'm pretty sure that our Love 2D program is clear. Every any every step is clear. That means you're ready for a more complex game in Love 2D. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like button if you like this video. Bye!